welcome back to the channel guys so if you watched earlier or previous videos you've seen that our sweet corn got knocked over i was just out there i did a video on it this is some of our sweet corn that we got i gotta shuck it out here and then go inside because miss allison would not like me having my weed eating and spraying pants on inside so we got to do this outside here and it, it makes less of a mess if you do it outside so the first step we're going to do is we're going to shuck all this. Now this is fairly simple. You literally just pull all this stuff back. And what we should have done here before we began is we should have combined one of these buckets so we can throw all this stuff in a bucket. Now it don't look like a whole lot here because we have given most of our stuff away. Allison actually went to town this morning. And delivered a bunch of stuff to friends and family and we got some in the house saved back for this weekend so that way we can give more to friends and family so we've actually had this picked for a few days now so we're gonna get it all shucked and then taken inside and then we will show you the rest of the freezer bagging process we got some cool tips and stuff so Go ahead and stay tuned because you're not going to want to miss it. Here's our first one. It's a little dented up, but it's not bad. It'll it'll work just fine. So that one's a peaches and cream. We have, looks like two buckets of peaches and cream and a bucket of incredible corn that we're going to do. So this is just what we're doing tonight. We've done previous. we got a bunch in the freezer. So stay tuned. We'll show you the next step. Once all this is shucked. So we got Allison here and she's going to show us this next step. But real quick, I want to say something. So this is our first year growing sweet corn. So some of this sweet corn does not look the best. But in our eyes, it was a success even having sweet corn. So this is our second round. This is what we're freezer bagging tonight. We've done previous freezer bags. So... Please leave out the hateful comments and all the stuff saying our corn looks like. Because you know what? We don't really care. This has been successful to us. So if you have suggestions, put suggestions down there. There's going to be things that we're going to do different next year with the garden and with the corn and with everything. But this is our first year with the garden, with canning, with doing any of this by ourselves. So leave out the hateful stuff, please. I know some of our corn don't look the best, but you know what? It's corn and it's here. So we're going to leave it to Allison now. She's going to say what we're going to do next. All right. So the next step we are going to do is wash all the corn before we get it off the cob. This section is peaches and cream. And then this section is incredible corn. You don't have to have it as really hot or really cold. Just have it as medium water. You just want to make sure you get all the silks off of the corn. And you'll keep repeating this step till you are all done with all the corn cobs. After you wash your corn, you can grab an ear. This is the trick we've learned. You have a bunk cake pan and you can just cut off the corn off the cob. You can also use an electric knife, but we do not have one of, one of those and this works just fine. And you'll just continue doing this for all the other corn cobs. All right, so after you have your bunk cake all full, your bunk pan of corn, you can start bagging. You want to make sure you label your bag. Since this is peaches and cream, we just did PC corn and today's date. This is a half cup. We want to do four of these cups, which equals two cups in this bag. That's just what works better for us for eating. You can do whatever you want. That's just 
since it's just us two, it's it's like the perfect amount. Dog just got some corn. <laughs> After you have your four half cups, you want a half cup of sugar. Pour it in there. Then I always mix it up all together with the corn so it's fully incorporated. And then once it's all incorporated well, you just need a half stick of butter. Also with this bunk can pan, it helps with cutting down the mess of the corn. We used to just cut it on the cutting board and then transfer it to a bowl. This definitely helps a lot with the mess, but you'll always have a mess with corn. But anyway, this is how we do our freezer bag corn. And all you have to do is take it out of the freezer when you want it and cook it on the stove top. The end result is peaches and cream. We have seven bags. And incredible corn, we have four bags. Quart bags. That is a lot. So if you like this video, please like it and subscribe. That is awesome for us. And if you like more content about this or gardening or canning, please let us know in the comments. We have lots of canning to do. So if you want to see that, just let us know. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.